Yes, hello everybody. Hope you have an amazing day. Today's topic is about the large intestine, uh, which consists of the colon, cecum, appendix, rectum, and anal canal. The wall of the large intestine consists of four layers: the mucosa, submucosa, muscularis, and adventitia or the serosa. The relief of the mucosa of the large intestine are the semilunaris folds that consist of mucosa and submucosa and the intestinal glands, which are also called the crypts. They are straight, tubular, contain a great abundance of goblet and absorptive cells and a small number of intraendocrine inter cells. The first layer which is the mucosa consists of epithelium, lamina propria, and muscularis mucosa. The epithelium is a simple uh, columnar epithelium and the lamina propria composed of uh, loose connective tissue. It is rich in lymphoid cells and lymph nodules. The extensive uh, development of, G -E of GALT, which is the, which is the gut associative lymphoid tissue, that reflects the abundance and variety of microorganisms and noxious end products of metabolism. The muscularis mucosa consists of a smooth muscle tissue that has a circular and longitudinal layer. Well, the epithelium of the large intestine consists of some type of cells, such as the absorptive cells, um, goblet cells, stem cells, or undifferentiated cells, and intraendocrine cells. The absorptive cells, they are uh, tall columnar and have short irregular microvilli. The absorptive cells actively transport electrolytes. Water is also observed as it passes is, as it passively follows the electrolytes. And goblet cells, which are um, more prevalent in the crypts than the lung than along the surface, and their number increases distally toward the rectum. The mucus facilitates the passage of the colonic contents and covers bacteria and, particu um, and particulate matters. Stem cells or undifferentiated cells, they are located at the basis of the crypts. Uh, the epithelium of the large intestine is replaced about every uh, six days by the proliferation and differentiation of these cells. So stem cells also, um, like their main function is to replace these cells that um, have a short lifetime in the, in the, in the intestine. The endocrine cells are very rare in the large intestine. And the second type or the second layer is the submucosa that consists of a loose connective tissue. It is rich in lymphoid follicles or, or uh, also called the lymphoid nodules. The, then the third type is the muscularis, which is consists which consists of inner circular and outer an uh, outer uh, longitudinal layer of smooth muscle tissue. The inner circular layer is typical, but the outer longitudinal layer of the colon is very thin, except for these uh, or three extremely thick uh, longitudinal bands called the tenei coli. Uh, the last layer is the serosa which consists of mesothelium with the thin layer of, in, of underlying connective tissue. It's characterized by small protuberances composed of adipose tissue, which, are, which is called the appendix or, or the appendices uh, epiloici. The appendix is the evagination of the cecum. It is characterized by small narrow lumen that is caused by the presence of abundant of lymphoid follicles in its walls. Uh, the general structure of the appendix is similar to that of a large intestine. Um, yeah, I think by this we have finished the, uh, the digestive tract or the digestive system. Um, and I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share all the videos. And I hope to see you in the next video. Yeah, and goodbye.